Hi, everybody. It's June 8, 2021. I must. And I apologize for the interruption of my Is China Preparing to Attack the United States series to bring to you a very good, good example of a pathological narcissist up the wazoo. Classic. Demonstrates all of the symptoms had these symptoms prior to becoming the vice president, but hey, let's, let's just get in to these very powerful positions, the worst of the worst. Immature, narcissistic, psychopathic, all about themselves. And boy, their behavior, oof. Yeah, decades ago when I was growing up, You knew the difference between a kid and an adult. You don't anymore. (laughs) You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I, somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage, but. (laughs) Yeah, well, actually, the nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. Let's talk about that. You once again gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a (laughs) non-answer. Trying to answer you now. The American people deserve a straight answer. And is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. be important if you said the truth. Joe Biden said <laughs> twice in the debate last week. That you landed haymakers on Joe Biden. How do you go from being such a passionate opponent? It was a debate. <laughs> Ron Gold has said that he is for the legalization of marijuana recreationally. Your thoughts on that? That he's entitled to his opinion. <laughs> so if it was legalized all throughout the country and <laughs> yeah. medicinal, would you, you know, do it? Listen, again? I think that it gives a lot of people joy, and we need <laughs> more joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kamala Harris was put in charge of the border crisis to fix it. She has yet to visit the border But finally, she's going somewhere down south. Oh, right, Guatemala. Here's what the president of Guatemala said. Guatemalan President Alejandro Yamate points out he and Vice President Kamala Harris have one thing in common. She doesn't hold back, which is good. She's frank. We're not on the same side of the coin. We are in agreement in the what, which is something. We're not in agreement in the how. Okay. <laughs> Yamate told us a root cause of undocumented immigration from his country is the economy. And I think the United States had something to do with that, but okay. She was off to Guatemala. And oh, what is this? Oh, trade not US aid. Work not charity. We reject your $860 million, your bribe to our corrupt politicians. No BLM Marxism in Guatemala. Kamala, go home. Ooh, that's a sting, isn't it? Ooh, when you sting narcissists, oh, you better watch out because... They're ruthless. But let's see. Oh, here, two months ago, she was already put in charge of that border crisis. And her response to a question about, hmm, are you going to visit the border? Do you have plans to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> not today. No, today we're going to Jacksonville. And we're going to uh, deal with the coronavirus and vaccines. We're not dealing with the border crisis. Frankly, the border crisis warrants 24-7 attention, but not for Camilla. Okay. On the route, on the route, no, wait. Oh, she did make it to Guatemala here. And, you know, you look at this woman's affect, and, oh, look, they rolled out the red carpet for me. Oh, 
Okay. Prior to walking down the red carpet, she was on that plane going to Guatemala and actually handed out cookies. A resemblance of herself. She handed these cookies out to the reporters. Really? Okie dokie. So, let's see. Twitter mocks Kamala Harris for passing out cookies of her faceless head to reporters. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's anything I would do, but hey, I'm not the vice president. Yeah. Okay, made an off-the-record visit to the back of the plane and delivered cookies decorated with the shape of her likeness, as well as AF2, and I don't know what AF2 is. Well, here you go, everyone. I thought you might like to eat my face. What a weirdo. Extremely disturbing behavior. It is. It, it's very strange. Could you imagine if Trump did that? What the press would do with it? it? Just looking at some of, you know, what comes up on YouTube, those mainstream media short clips, I haven't seen anything about, uh, on the left, you know, about these cookies. Nothing. I would feel weird eating this. Yeah, I... But what, what's your opinion? Would you want to chomp down on Kamala? As a former military aide during the Clinton administration, I never even imagined this level of narcissism and all on your tax dollars, America. Democrats, even you can't be cool with this, and of course they will be. Because when you're not about principle and you're all about personality, you make so many justifications. People are missing the context. These cookies were given by a black-owned business and, and VP gave them to the press. A little bit of context, probably by the author of the tweet, would have been nice. People are missing the context. These cookies were given by a white-owned business, and Mike Pence gave them to the press. Would that have gone over? No. It's unbelievable. Wow. So, yeah, people making little designs. Okay. This, okay, look. Vice President of the United States. We are a flippin' joke. Unfortunately, we're kind of that dangerous joke. Not a lot of people like us. They sure don't like our vice president. Do not come. What? Do not come. Kamala goes full Trump. Telling Guatemalans to stay away? What happened? I don't get it. Let's just check out. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Trump. Trump supporters. Anybody who wanted immigration law actually to be enforced was a Nazi, was a white supremacist. You don't like brown people. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Great arguments you have there, but... Trump got slammed, right? Uh, When she says don't come, what happens? Okay, we're going to focus on this a little bit more. But, yeah, people, people, people were not happy with her in Guatemala. In Guatemala. No, they said, please, just don't come. Kamala, Trump won. Guatemalans. This is the greet of the great vice president. Hey, Trump won. Ooh, that hurts. Kamala, stop funding criminals. Ooh, that hurts. Yeah. Don't bribe our corrupt 
politicians and we're not interested in BLM, Marxism, and Guatemala, go home. Go home speaking. Uh, I don't understand uh, the language, but here. Mind your own business. Go home. Oh, well, at least the president rolled out the red carpet for you. But uh, I don't think he liked you very much. I got that kind of sense from him, you know, when he was giving those interviews before you arrived. Yeah, here we are. Poetic. We Guatemalans are Republican and conservative. We don't want Democrats and socialists here. Go home. Oi. And you're, you're doing this to a narcissist, a pathological narcissist, because when you do, oh, they come back. They want to destroy you. Want to return to normal? Impeach Biden. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Yeah. You're uh, kind of getting it. Too bad that mainstream media leftists, you know, those uh, propagandists, you know, for your leftist agendas. Don't say anything about any of this. Not eating that. Uh-uh. The cookie monster doesn't even want your cookie. Uh-uh. Nope. So, yeah, a whole lot of go home. There were protests. There were get out. We don't want you here. Guatemalan president. Look, it's Biden's fault that there's a border crisis here and in the United States because he got rid of policies that were holding back the tide. Mm. I think that was during the Trump years. Now, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Please get out of your dichotomous thinking if you're thinking of you know, posting that comment. Oh, so uh, you wanted that Nazi back in office. <laughs> wow, man. Okay. Okay, so holding back the back time. No, it's the hot weather. Oh. We look like friggin' morons. And she did say that, actually. Yep, okay. Well, what you gonna... <laughs> I have to say, Twitter, you know, I understand why people become addicted to Twitter. Um, it's... Some people have very interesting responses, to say the least. Mind your own business. Get out. We don't want you. Oh, boy. Well, boy, oh, boy. What you going to do? This is our world. So, yeah. Her trip to Guatemala. And if you've been following a little bit of mainstream media, I know it's really hard to stomach, but uh, I, I, how many times have Democrats... But also, this one, how many times have they said, it's the violence, it's climate change, you know, and greet them with open arms, welcome them, hey, create these sanctuary cities so they have a place where they can go and be safe from, oh, the laws of the United States. Cross that border illegally. Now, this is what she's saying. At the same time, I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure... <laughs> When's... I'm sorry, I haven't heard a Democrat say that. Uh, well, can't remember. Certainly not throughout the Obama administration. The United States is going to enforce those immigration laws. What? Wait, what happened in Guatemala? 
Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. You were met with not a very welcoming greeting. You were told to get the hell out of their country. Go home, Kamala. And, well, now, you want to come across this border, Guatemalans? Uh-uh. <laughs> and she looks angry. She looks a little bitter. And she's, well, very narcissistic. And showing it right here. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. There are legal methods by which migration can and should occur. But we, as one of our priorities, will discourage illegal migration. <laughs> oh, my God. And mainstream media. Okay, look, you know, all right. Do not come. Do not come. You don't want me in your country? I'm going to tell you to stay out of my country. All right. Do not come. We're going to enforce our immigration laws. We're going to send you home. Oh. Wow. Okay. This is new. This is rather shocking. It's a shocking turnaround for a Democrat, especially Kamala, to come out and say this. Where are the Democrats speaking about, how dare you, Kamala? You're a Nazi. You're a white supremacist. They need opportunities that our country uh, I, apparently is just, well, filled with. We need people to come across the border and live the good life here in the United States. The climate change, the weather, the violence that they're fleeing from. You're telling them now not to come? You must be a Nazi. You must be a white supremacist. You must not like brown people. I know you're a little brown, but you're light brown. And you're passing. I think, what do they call it, a passing? You're, you're passing for white. But now you're really showing how white you really are. We are so deranged in our country. Just unbelievably deranged. Go home. Well, here she is. On the news, Lester Holt. M-S-N-B-C. It's only 59 seconds. Listen to this. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this, whole, this, whole, this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, um... I have to tell you, Kamala, uh, you were not tasked with fixing Europe. You were tasked with fixing the border. But did you catch that outright lie? Oh, she was very comfortable saying it. I've been to the border. We've been to the border. She said it over and over. Uh, have you been to the border? Well, I haven't been to Europe. Really? That's acceptable for Americans, I guess. It's not acceptable for me. Really, really. Is, uh, well, I'm actually editing a lot. Let's go on. I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand. Cackling Kamala every single time she gets a question or she's kind of put in, a, in the corner. Oh, my God. I think I've been caught in a lie. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Well, I, I'm it's frightening that she doesn't understand the importance. She's put in the position to fix that border 
He's asking, have you been to the border? And she doesn't understand the importance of the question. Oof, boy. I feel really comfortable with all of these geniuses that we have in high office. I mentioned it because I, even, I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this, but Democratic Congressman Cuellar as a border district has said to the, you and the president, come, you need, I care you need to about, see this. Listen, I care about what's happening at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be uh, some who think that that is not important, but it is my firm belief that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, Kamala, go to El Salvador, Honduras, Mexico. And, uh, well, there's so many crossing the border now. And I actually read an article that there were, from 160 countries, people crossing the border. I, I couldn't verify it, but 160, well, all right, let's just say, hmm, well, Honduras, El Salvador, Mexico, uh, China, um, and uh, Syria, and I forget it. Um, go to all of those countries, Kamala, walk that red carpet, and then come out and say, don't come. Don't come. We are going to enforce our laws. You come legally. There are legal steps. Did you hear that? Le she said there are legal steps. That's what we've been screaming for years. And we've been called Nazis. Okay. So go to all of those countries, Kamala, and say the same thing. Not just Guatemala, where they so don't want you. Go to all of them. Say the same thing. You discourage them from coming across the border. Unlike your boss, Biden, who actually said, come on in. This is what we have now. This is what we have. I, I you know, I'm sorry. It's, I, I, what do I say? What, what, what do you say? The woman is all about herself. She cares about nobody. She cares about nothing. She's all about herself. That is pretty much the entirety of government, local, state, federal. They care about themselves. They get rich in office. Okay. If you have more to add, please leave a comment below. Please. You know, I, I feel like... Um, here I am, no one to talk to, sitting at a screen, talking you know, to a microphone. Uh, well, if the cyber world is the only place I can get my support, please, please, please chime in, okay? Thanks.